Hi buddy, Patty Ann here. I'm so excited about what I have to show you today. First, let me have a sip of my coffee. It's a perfect mug for Valentine's Day and it's a perfect mug to go along with today's project. Okay, hope you have your cup of coffee and you're ready to sit back and watch it. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to show you how to make today. This uses just things that are made or from Cricut Access. Here's another one. Put some little sparklies on that one. And this was just another piece. I was just playing around because I was just learning how to do it, but aren't those cool? And then these are just some little hearts that I had cut out when I was trying to figure out how to do it and it didn't quite work right but I like the little hearts. Oh and one last one. This little guy right here. Isn't it cute? Okay so follow me down here at the computer and let's get started. Okay we're ready to start so I came up here and I got a new canvas. I came down here to shapes and chose a square And where did it go? It's over here. I want to make this square the size that my card is going to be. So I'm going to make it 4.25 tall by 11 inches wide. That's how large my card is going to be. So I'll just color it a pretty pink color because, and not that. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to hide that for right now. The next thing I'm going to do is bring in another shape. It's going to be another square. And I'm going to make it the half size of the card, you know, between the, when it's folded up. So again, it will be 4.25 inches tall by this time half of the width, which is 5.5. 5.5. And this is how big my card area is I have to work with. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a heart. And I'm going to bring it over here to see what size I'd like it to be. And I really like it to be about like that. Okay, now we need to go get the image or what we're going to cut or slice. So I'm going to go to images. And if you recall, I have the image number for you in my Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Patty Ann. And here it is right here. Click on it and don't forget to hit this. Even if you hit the enter key, it doesn't work. I have to hit that key. And there it is. I love this Paisley. Insert the image. And the next thing I'm going to do is I need to make this larger so that it'll co cover some of my heart here. And I really like this part of the flower down here, so I want that to be in it. And I kind of like the way it looks if it's right there. So I have those two things together. I'm going to highlight both of them just by drawing the box. If you'll notice over here, they're both selected and I'm going to say slice. Now this part's kind of weird. I had a trouble with this at first because I kept picking the wrong image. So let's start dragging these off. There's one. Okay. There's this, there's this one I don't really need, but I think that's so cool. I'll X that out. Here's another one. Let's make this pink. Okay, and then here's the third one. Now what you're looking for is which one has the most stuff cut out of it, meaning you can see the most of the backing. Okay, look at the heart, look at the flower part right here. Look what's cut out of this one, so much more than this one. All this is what's left. So these are the two I don't want to use because these are exactly the same actually. Put them on top of each other. 
This is the one I want right here. Okay. So I am just going to cut this out. And actually what I can do now, I just use this box as a sizing reference. I can actually get rid of that box right now by hiding it and bring this one back out. Let me delete these because I'm not going to use them, although they're really pretty. I'm going to use this. Let's see, is that size right? 4.25? Yep. So I think my heart is still a little bit too large. I'm going to make it a little smaller. Actually, if I bring this all the way over here to the side, to, to the side, and line it up at the zero mark, you remember it was 11 inches? I can basically know that the middle of this is right here, right where this plus sign is. So I want to have this heart kind of centered there in the middle. That looks pretty good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab both of these and slice. So I can take that one off and get rid of it. Take that one off and get rid of it. And now we're left with the gorgeous card. Now the other thing that I could have done though, before I did this, or even now, I can go to contour. And while this is populating because there's so many little cuts, I can make it a lot bigger so I can really zoom into it and come over here. And there are some things on here that I really don't need it to cut. Some of these little tiny, tiny things like that one, for example, or that one, for example, or this one. So you can just go in here if you'd like to and get rid of some of these that you don't particularly think need to be cut. Oh, there's a little one there. Boop. And of course, if you accidentally hit one you don't want to hit, I want that in there. I'll just hit it again and it comes back. There's a little guy right there. I don't really think I need that one. So I'm just kind of willy-nilly deciding some of these little ones that I don't need. And you may find that you want to do more than that. Like, I don't like that one. It's kind of an odd closed up shape. Okay, when I think I'm done with that, I just click off of that. And there it is. So now my card is ready. Um, the only other thing was now on this card, I also did two more things. So I just came over here to shapes and made a rectangle. And I took the lock off. And I just, whoops, I took the lock off. And I just kind of sized it how I thought it would look nice over here. And you see that plus sign, I can kind of like sh make sure that's lined up with the heart nicely. And now this one, I'm going to change this one to pink. And on my next, the other one that I did, I made, I duplicated this, took off the lock, made it smaller so it would fit inside of that one nicely. And you can probably see it a little bit better if I make it white because that's what I did eventually. So it's there. Okay, there's those two. Now I took this one off and what I did next was I went to text. And I don't remember what text I said I used. Let's see. Remember this is Cricut Design Space with Patty Ann. I, oh, I was motivated. La, 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 la. The font is Chloe. That's right, Chloe. So I'm going to write best wishes again. And I'm going to change the font from Cricut Sans to Chloe. C H L O E, I think. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there's two Chloe's. I'll just use the regular one. Isn't it cute? I like that font. And then what I did was, instead of using this uh, letter spacing and just click, 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 I just went ahead and I came up here to advanced 
and said ungroup to letters so that I could put my letters fairly close together. Okay. And then a little less space in between the words. You'll notice something weird about the H is that it hangs down a little lower than the other letters. So I'll have to adjust that in a moment. Okay, let's see how's that look. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's move the B over a little closer. And the T. And you can just putz with this until you get it the way you like it. Now I would just highlight this and then I come up here to the align tool and I'm going to say align bottom, which works perfectly for all of the letters except for the H. Remember I said he was a little unusual, so I need to move him down by himself. Now I'm going to get all the letters again and I'm going to group them so that I can move them up on this white box and get them to fit in there. Whoopsie. Ugh, oh, don't want to do that. And I think I need to zoom in a bit so I can see better what I'm doing. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, I don't know if I'm real crazy about how big this box is. So I might make it a little bit. Uh, let's move it this way a little bit. There we go. I like that. Okay, so now I'm going to grab both of these and I want to attach them because I want that writing. Hey, why did that do that? Uh, undo. Did I not have this on writing? Let's check. Now let me do this again. So it likes that out. And I'm going to come up here again to text. And I'm going to use Chloe, but I want to use the writing version. Okay. And now I'm going to say best wishes. Okay. And once again, I'm I can do some of the line spacing and I can do again some of the letter spacing or I can simply go to advanced and ungroup to letters which is what I prefer to do and just kind of easily move them over closer to each other. I'm going to highlight all those letters. I'm going to come up here to align, align to the bottom. And that does great for everything except for the H. So I'll just move him down personally or individually. There we go. It looks good. Okay, now I'm going to come back up here, grab them all, and I'm going to go to group. Now I need to make them fit in this box right here. So I'm going to take them and push them down, move them down. Well, that worked out pretty good. Okay, that looks good. Oh, but now I need to make sure that I go like this and attach them because I do want them to write on this white piece of cardstock. So I'll put this up here. And what I can do now is just group these and come over here. Let's see how it's going to look. Now, here's the thing. I made this backwards so that you could see this part back here. But what I really did on my original one was I made the card white, but watch. You remember that piece I had right here? I'm going to make it visible again. And that's exactly half of the size of the card. I'm going to click on the big card. This is it here highlighted. I'm going to change its color to white. And now behind that, I'm going to put the other piece of cardstock. I think I need to zoom out. I'm 
Okay. I thought I made this piece. Oh, let's see. What did I do? Oh, this piece has been changed to 5.5. So I want this to be 4.25. 4.25. Five. Okay, there we go. And then it'll fit behind here. So let's scroll in. And now you can see it's going to be beautiful. I just think this card is so delicate and so pretty. So you probably know what we're missing. One last thing, and that is the score line. So I come over to shapes and grab the score line and for some reason it always puts it way over here or it's hard to figure out where in the world it is so if I highlight it it should select it on the screen somewhere <laughs> there it is okay I'm going to change where this is located. Okay, I'm going to change it. The position is now way over here to the right. I'm going to change the position to 1-1 one, one so that I can find it easily. There. Okay, and then I'm going to find the score line and change its position to 2 there we go. Okay. Now I'm going to put him on here. So I want to center this. Align. Center. Okay, that's in the center now. And now I want to attach this. Okay, there we go. And then I'll put this back behind here. <clears throat> and Let's see this. I'll move the white card backward. Pull this down a little bit. Like that. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to make this card. It's really mm -hmm. simple and it's really fun. So if I was to hide this one. And let's say we wanted to make another one. Again, all we would do is go to up, not upload, sorry. Shapes, bring in a square. Okay, let's just pretend we're going to make one five by five. Then the next thing I want to do is I come up here and let's say I want a shape to be a circle. And it's going to fit nicely on this card. Perfect. And now let's say I want to fill that circle with something rather cool. Ooh, I could fill it with this again because I love it. Let's try something else. Cartridges. Um, let's see. Lace. Okay, this gear is really cool. If we can, there it is. Insert. Okay, this has two pieces, so I just want to get rid of the background. And then I'm going to put it over top of the circle. And I need to make it larger than the circle. Okay, that looks good. And now I'm just going to go to hit click on them both and slice. Okay, I'm going to change the card so you can see what I mean more easily. So I'm going to take this piece off. That looks like there's a lot of white space. Take this piece off. We know we don't want that one. Take this one off. That one looks like it's exactly the same as that one. And take this one off. Oh boy, which one of these do you think is the one we need? Well, I think I need this one right here. Because if you'll notice, 
this background just goes right into this part. Everything's kind of connected. So let's see. If we take this and this and slice, we pull off this and we pull off this. Okay, you can see that is perfect because all of this creamy color, or this yellow color is all connected. The white pieces are what is cut out. I could make my background a different color if you'd like so you can see it more easily. And we can get rid of all these. So now you could see this would be, if I had a blue in behind this, this is how it would cut out. Try to think of something cute that goes with gears. <laughs> Hmm, can't think of a cute saying right off the bat. But anyway, that's how you would do that one. Let's just try one more. So let's just get a square again. Any size. Let's just pretend like this is the size of, this is our card pretend. Actually, I think I'll make it a little bit oh, like this. Nine. Oops, I meant to make it go the other way. So I'll hold the shift key down and rotate it. So we'll pretend like this card's going to fold right here in the center. And I can do something right here. So we're going to go bring in another shape, a square. Okay. Then we're going to bring in an image. And... I wonder if the music notes is cool. I don't know. Try the music notes. No idea. So if I take the music notes, and I've got to make them bigger than the square. I'm going to get rid of the back. I may not want them that big. Okay, I think that's going to work. So now I'm just going to take these two things and go click on the backing of this, the square and the music notes and click slice. Now I've got to think about which one I want to get rid of. And I might need to make this smaller so you can see more clearly. No, I know I don't need that. And I don't know about that one. Or this one. So it helps me if I change this color to something I can understand. And if I put this here and all the cutout part, this one will not be the right one because the cutout part, I don't think. Let's see which one of these look like. Let me try this one. I think this might be it. Whoopsie. And I made it too big, but. Okay, so let's just select both of these. Slice. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that worked. It's pretty darn skinny though. And you can tell it worked because if I was to take another square and put it behind here, and move it to the back, you can see that this piece here that's the card, it just all prints out in a continuous line. And that's the one that would work. So anyway, I hope you understand. If you don't, if it's not clear, let me know. Ask me questions. I like questions. The more I have to dig into the stuff, the more I learn too. So thanks a lot for joining me. I hope this helped. Bye-bye.